Clarence White brought so much to the birds that it's um, almost more than we could cover here in this session. Uh, he, he brought a unique style of guitar playing that was really unheard of at the time. He brought all his experience with country and bluegrass and this incredible way of playing the electric guitar. He brought his use of the string bender, which was a unique thing. He was the only one that had one at that time. Um, and his, his spirit, his, his wonderful spirit and his sense of music was incorporated into the band. And uh, it, it, I think, was definitely a high point for the band to have him involved. Clarence's uniqueness came from his sense of timing, and he's extremely skillful. He could play more notes than anyone if he wanted to, but one of the things that he said was it's not so much what you play as what you don't play. He had a sensibility that was very highly developed on rhythm and where to, to uh, accent here and there. His uh, use of bending strings, his just unique technique. I think, I think we kind of suspected that Chris would quit, particularly after one night when he smashed his bass uh, and said, that's it, I'm done. Uh, and uh, John York, I, I didn't know John, but uh, I think either Roger or Clarence knew John and uh, got him involved. But it wasn't a big shock, no, that he left. We knew that he uh, was thinking about starting another group. And fact is, had approached Clarence to join that group and even approached me at one point. Chris had a volatile um, sense of, uh, how should I say, he, he did smash things from time to time. I think he's gotten over that though now. <laughs>